It feels great to be 70 years old. I, I don't feel it as such, but uh, maybe the only way to notice it is to look back and uh, at what things have happened to me. And generally, as I was speaking to people, it's been good. It feels great to be 70, and um, I hope it's going to be as good in my life. I didn't know about radio until an incident happened. I trained as a teacher, and um, when I was posted to teach at Mzuzu Primary School, I was given a big house, it was a four bedroomed house and um, then there was need to have another teacher so they recruited another teacher who was uh, single like me and so when the school committee said well this is a four bedroomed house, there is a girl, I'm sure they can share the house. I was shocked, share the house? with a, a young man and I'm single then I, I, I didn't want to be forced into marriage you know like marrying someone I didn't know and I didn't love so I quickly phoned my father then who was a civil servant at Mzuzu Bo, at Mzimba Boma so I called him I said you know what this is what has happened they want me to share my house with a, a young man who is also single. So when my mother heard this, she was scared and angry, and they phoned the education secretary then of, of maybe Livingstonia Synod to say, what is this? And so my father arranged that I move from Zuzu to Mzimbaboma again. And I taught at uh, St. Paul's Primary School, uh, staying with my parents. Then, um, you know, this made me now to say, what is this profession like? If it is within a short time, I'm being transferred, you know, here and there. So then I read in the newspaper that NBC wanted uh, some broadcasters. So I joined, I, I, I applied. And then they sent me some tests. They said, you shouldn't consult anyone, just do them on your own. I didn't even tell my parents. So I wrote that test. It was to find out how much English I know and how creative I am. I still remember um, one of the tests was they gave me six different topics and, and so they said, can you join them into one story? So I did. They said, don't ask anyone, just do them because if you pass this one, you do another one um, with the invigilator, you know, somebody watching you. So I did it and then Two months later, I received a telegram to say, could I go for the face-to-face -face interview? So this is how I joined broadcasting. It's been very interesting. It was, I mean, when I started, I started young and it was very exciting. I met a lot of important people, politicians that time. I would interview them, I would do live commentaries. I remember at one time I was uh, working with the current affairs section and uh, I would go to the airport every day to meet, you know, important people, interview them and then would air them on the radio. And. Um, you know, there was a time when uh, there was a meeting at the State House during Kamuzubanda. This was the Zomba State House then. 
and they wanted uh, an interpreter. No one was around. So Mama Kazamira just said, Joyce, go and interpret. I said, I may not make it, but I did. <laughs> so to me, that was really, and I don't think there has been any other woman who has, uh, who did that, that time. Even now, I don't know any. So that was quite good. And also, covering state banquets like outside broadcasts when the Queen, you know, came to visit our president, Kamuzu Banda. So I would do the commentary during the banquet. You know, I did quite a number of roles. If there is one thing I would change in radio stations now, if I were to be given a chance, is to say radio stations should create programs which are going to improve people's lives. I think there is a tendency of just dishing out to listeners whatever, you know, is available. Programs are the same on all radio stations. You know, I wished they would be different. I wished there would be more educational programs. Not educational to teach people to read and write, but to teach people to change for the better. So I would say, hello, good afternoon. This is Joyce Ngoma with your choice. And in this program, I have letters from all over Malawi. And uh, make sure you are listening because I'm going to read these letters now.